couple of fancy die rolls and everything right now. The only thing, the only limitation you really have to worry about <clears throat> is unless there's someone who trains the skill around here, um, then you can only level up skills you, tr you used or attempted to use during the past level. Um, you can take, you can't increase specialization past plus two. And again, proficiencies, what? you know, specialization, you can't go past level two unless you have uh, actual training somewhere. Son of a bitch. Do you actually have that much specialization right now? In axes, I do. You can go to plus two, you just can't go past plus two. Wow, well, that's a lot, because you have to get plus one in all four things before you can move up. Yeah. Yep. That's crazy. <clears throat> Alright, so I have a question for you guys. Do you want me to get tra trap design? I don't know, am I going to walk your traps? <laughs> I don't know. Don't trap me, bro. <laughs> I'm just wondering, because at the basic level I can build, like, pit traps, and, like, we can, I don't know, whether we want you me to do it or not. <laughs> dig a hole, I'll tie the ropes, and then... Oh, don't worry, I'm getting trap. some rope use. <laughs> As an FYI, this training period to go to level 2 does take you two weeks. So we're gonna have to, you're gonna have to spend some money on like lodgings or something to cover all that yeah. time. Unless That's you're cool. just gonna stay at the freaking shrine of the caregiver like Masser. Yeah, 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 yeah. But staying there is gonna give you an honor hit for that much time. Just oh my FYI. God. Oh my god. <laughs> I go love it. In what the, do uh, I do, Cory Town? <laughs> I think that's your option. You can stay at the blacksmiths as well. Alright. Like in the stables. Done. Done. But all of those are technically charities, so... I mean, the blacksmith, at least you did something to earn that, but, yeah, it's still not good. So what won't honor mess me up? Basically, if you pay to stay somewhere. Uh, can I like pay the bikes with a little bit, something, and then it's honorable, which is not like a full rate. <laughs> if you trade in surfaces, maybe instead, like you sweep the place and scoop the horse poops and stuff. Yeah, fuck it, I'll do that. <laughs> Not too proud. <coughs> I mean, I'm a dishonorable wretch already anyway, like... He probably thinks that's all I do. At least now you're, like, working for a living. But then you do have to go out into the woods every once in a while to train, like, you're because you're training to become a level 2 ranger, right? So, yeah. you can't really do that in the keep. And Ace, so, like, we'll, we can deal with the other stuff you were talking about, like, over that period. Alright, so the first thing in this two-week period that happens as you level up is you get to roll hit points. Yay! So, for everyone except Master, this is a re-roll. You can, uh, whatever die you rolled for level one, you can re-roll that die, and if it's higher, you switch to that number. If the number that, if uh, both numbers that you rolled for your hit points are still under half of what that die would be, it goes up to half. Big money. No <clears throat> penetrating, I'm guessing. No penetrating. Although Masser does have a negative one to this roll for his honor. Um, now for Masser, because he's a ranger, oh, damn, that sucks. this is not a re-roll. This is actually added to his hit points. I'm gonna main. Uh, one, baby. Oh, what was your previous roll self? Five. <laughs> I'll be keeping the five. So this is the hit dice, right? That it says under your yeah. advancement thing? Okay. I gained me four hit points. Yes. Oh, really? Get, your previous roll was a two? Yeah. Ooh. My previous roll was a one. Ooh! <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Makes my five seem amazing. 
So, Master, you get to add three to your hit point total. Yeah, okay. All right, then you get to bump stats. So each player gets a complete set of dice. Uh, basically a d20, a d12. These are Ps. D20P, d12P, d10P, d8P, d6P, d4P to roll and add to your percentiles and your different ability scores. Wow. So you got to do that what, like? So you choose which stat you're going to roll, then you roll the times? die and add it to it. Yeah, so you choose which one's going the D20 is going to, which one the D12 is going oh, Like you say, okay, I'm going to roll a D20 okay. for my strength, I'm going to roll a D10 for my intelligence, etc., etc. I see. Et cetera. I see. And do we have to declare which one is going to which before yes. we roll it? Yes. Okay. And obviously each stat can only get one die. <clears throat> and Master will of course have negative one to each of these. <laughs> and I need to get honorable real quick. Do so I there's... get plus one to them? Since I'm so honorable? You get plus one. You, you, you have a plus one that you can add once per game session, so you can add it to one of these if you want. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. I'll save that for my skills. Oops. It's the uh, double square brackets. I have. So there's seven stats, though, right? You do not get to add increase your looks this way. Ah, uh, okay. Your looks are set. That. It's worth noting that your the percentile goes up to zero zero, so that's slash one hundred essentially. Then it would go to zero one, so it doesn't go ninety nine, and then go over to one. It goes ninety nine one hundred, then one. In the square bracket, so I have to write that slash roll thing again, or is it just d twenty? No, you just put d twenty. Heck. Oh, damn, son. <laughs> oh, except your penetrating is only yeah, a d6. Yeah. So, yeah, it penetrates with a d6, not a... Uh, so roll a... So Selfie's just roll a d6 minus 1. Well, a d6p minus 1. Well, 25 is nothing to sneeze at. What the fuck? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, strength one. I'm at a zero zero now. So that's nice. Way to go, Bearden. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. The second one, by the way. I rolled more for my strength. You on the D twelve too? Ouch. Yeah.
Does that mean he gets a zero? I think so. I think you always get at least one. Yeah, that probably would have been a little more clean, but I was like making oh. my decisions as I went. That's smart. I'll do that. <laughs> Imagine if you would actually decide to fight those goblins. <laughs> we wouldn't have gotten to this until next time. <laughs> or we'd still be fighting them. Or we'll all be dead. I think that as you get higher levels and you start fighting um, less things that have more hit points, the fights are probably quicker. As opposed to just a wave of weenies. Selfius, you're just so good at rolling these. <laughs> yeah, mine are not terribly high. I got that 25, and uh, it all went downhill. Wow. Well, you know, you, you have to do the uh, brackets. Yeah, oh, you do bracket. two square uh, brackets, just put like D12 or whatever, and the two square brackets. Okay, I think I get it. Do we have like a minute before we move on to the next thing? Uh, I don't know who's still doing what. I've done all my stats. Got it. My practice. Well, I mean, you can. If you mean you have to go do something, Sylvius. I was just gonna go get a drink. Or something. Yeah, go ahead. I'll be right back. Oh my god. Two square brackets. <laughs> like on both sides? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Just press the up arrow and then add them in manually. Because if you press up, it just repeats whatever your last thing was. Okay. I did it, guys. Who's excited? <laughs> yeah. Pretty good for the wisdom. Yeah. Con, not so much. I think a lot of ranger skills are wisdom and dex, so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Alright, so once you guys have all written that down, the next thing is pretty straightforward. Selfies can easily catch up. Everyone just gains 15 building points. Yay! <laughs> Woo! You may so, spend these building points to increase stats if you wish, but they're mostly used for skills and talents and proficiencies and specialization. So did anyone have any uh, on that trap thing? So that allows you to make traps, or does it allow you like better disarm traps? Just to make them. Doesn't that have a prerequisite? Just that you can't be higher than your disarm trap. Okay. Can't make them better than you can break them. <laughs> exactly. My disarm trap's already like 25 or something. Which helped us a lot in that first cave. We needed it. Uh, I feel it's one of these those skills that, you know, in the future, will be very, very needed. Yeah. So I, I feel traps in this game will just like totally off our heads.
no opinions at all on traps about building them well building them's cool but the thing is you generally build traps when you're like in an entrenched area so yeah. how often is that going to happen for us well if we have a house that's true Alright, I'm not gonna get it. I can always get it the next level. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's just I one of those things like it's crazy expensive, so the only <laughs> thing I'm gonna ever spend it on is my one free thing to do. Just think of how often you got to use those siege skills in Vancouver's game. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, an old hackmaster, my warrior had like build fortification skills and like never came up. All Maybe right. I'll get good at shooting so I can shoot you guys in the head some more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, roll new mage Make spells, spells not appropriate. So next thing is to receive your class-related skills and abilities. So, um, you know, look up your class in the uh, player's handbook and increase your attack, your speed, your initiative, whatever, as level yeah, 2 has. Yeah, so I have a, and then so I have thieves, a question about Yeah, this. thieves and clerics of Draper will have a whole ream of free skills. Yeah. Well, there's that, but then uh, it says for my thief advancement, I have one better on initiative die, but I already have one better for being a halfling. Does not so stack. does that mean I'm... Damn it. <laughs> that was my question. It's good to be a halfling at level one, but after that it kind of evens out. Until level five, and then it gets better. Yeah, but I mean, at that point it doesn't matter if you're a halfling or a human, if you're a level yeah. five thief. Just that love every halfling at least has some ability to do it. Yeah. So I think you get to choose what four of the thief skills to up. Yep. Okay, sorry. All right, you get fifteen uh, building points, Sylphius. Okay. Is that class specific, or is it everyone always gets? 15? Everyone always gets fifteen every level. You can spend them to up stats if you want for the same formula as before, but it is woefully inefficient. <laughs> okay. We have moved to the next step after that, which is getting your class-related uh, bonuses and free skills and stuff. Alright. Yeah, I see for Challengers of Fate there's no difference to your attack bonus, initiative, or initiative die or anything. Yeah, that made life a lot. <laughs> you do have to roll a d8 twice to see which skills you get to up for free. Selfies, anyway. This class is hilarious for the record. <clears throat> Once we get to the point where it's like up a, choosing to up all your skills and everything, we'll probably just uh, let everyone do that in the in between time. Well, those are nice lock picking yeah. and hiding. Oh, nice. All right, so I need help on deciding what to get for my fourth free skill. Should it be hiding? I disarm trap. Identify trap, listening, or sneaking. What's your lowest? Probably listening. Listening is a 15. I mean, that might be useful to up, but then again, it depends on what you want to specialize in. You should up your climbing. I'm already doing that once. And I can double up, I don't think. Did you already up your lockpicking? Yep, and my pickpocket. I do, uh, is find trap or move trap different in this game? Are you two separate skills? There's identify trap and disarm trap, and I'm at 23 for identify and 26 for disarm. I might up the ident 
is identify actually finding the traps, Jay, or is it uh, like just saying this trap is like this? It's, it's finding. finding the trap. Yeah, I'd probably up that. Okay. That's one of those things that, like, when you're identifying a trap, even if you can't disarm it, you might be able to avoid it. But if you never identify it, you'll probably still just walk into it. Yeah. I can't remember, rangers probably get free skills too, like, probably all you assholes except for Baird and dude. Uh, they, they <laughs> I only get nothing. tracking, then like, plus three to first aid every level. Everything else is like, I got a lot of free stuff at level one, but then not on advancing. Okay, so aside from the class-related freebies like that, uh, when we start looking at improving skills that you already have with your building points, they have to be skills you used at least once during your level. Right. Does rope use count? Yes. Uh, even though I wasn't trained in it before? Yeah, but you did make a roll on it. True. So you did What about use jumping? It. I can't wait to use this animal empathy. Boom. <laughs> what about ruling on uh, on jumping, Zula? Did you ever do a jumping check? I don't think so. I don't think so either. So I'd have to say no. Lame. Now for new skills, you have to have some sort of access to that skill. How do, so, like, I can just go jump stuff? Other characters and NPCs can be a great help. If this new skill to be learned is a class skill, such as a previously unstudied thief skill, the character can learn this without exposure during training up to levels 2 through 6, as the character has had rudimentary exposure to the skill while training for level 1. Gotcha. So, learning a new skill, you don't have to have had, you don't have to have tried it. You just have to have access to someone who could teach it to you, which is part of the new languages being available, like learning to write and read at the scribes. Talents can just be purchased, whatever. There's no prerequisites. You just discovered you had a latent talent that you hadn't realized until now. Proficiencies you also have to have access to, someone to teach it to you. And like I said before, weapon specialization cannot go above plus one, or plus two. And for all these roles, it's modified by our stats, right? The skill rolls? Oh yeah, there's a, um, uh, what page is it on? Hold on. I didn't even know that. Although and if some... it's two, then we take the average of them? Yeah. Some classes get bonuses that could replace that, though. Like, for certain skills that yeah. I level, on page, I get a flat plus one. On page 154 better. shows it. It also tells you, um, depending on your current skill level, tells you what mastery die you're rolling to increase the skill. Um, the higher you are, the less the die is going to be. And... This column on the right shows the bonus or negative you get from your relative, uh, irrelevant ability score. But I get to put a minus one on all these, right? Yep. But Lucky you! <laughs> so, in order to increase your honor, um, honor covers four things. Um, it is a role-playing award, first of all. Um, so role-playing your quirks and flaws and your overall character. Uh, it's also class adherence, so acting like a ranger, um, as opposed to just acting like a fighter. <clears throat> it's uh, a alignment adherence as well, so being uh, you know acting chaotic good. Uh, and then it's also 
basically showing good face, like being honorable, like not letting people take advantage of you and that kind of stuff. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, you can bank as much BP as you want. Yeah, actually the leveling process isn't as long in these uh, first levels. When you guys go to level 6, you'll have to actually find a uh, training venue somewhere. Take actual courses. <laughs> but there's a chance you might get to join a cool secret society. Yeah. <laughs> I want to take over a thieves guild. Well, you'd have to find a thieves guild first, wouldn't you? Well, yeah. There's time. So I guess we'll basically pick this up two weeks later after you guys have trained and all hit level two. So it'll be two weeks from tonight. We'll pick up two weeks later in game as well. Exactly. <laughs> nice. But I guess we'll basically call this uh, the official end of the game, though I'll hang out in the chat for a while still, as people continue. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to roll my skills and then I'm done. I hadn't picked out already.